हाय गाइस नमस्ते नमस्ते ग्रेट सो येस्टरडे वी सॉ द प्रीमियर लॉर्ड ऑफ द रिंग्स इट्स लाइक अ फाइन वाइन गोइंग रियली नाइस वे सो इफ यू वर गिवन द पावर ऑफ रिंग्स व्हाट विल यू डू व्हाट विल यू चेंज माय गॉड Every time I just I try to be as good as possible with this answer. You know, there's the practical <laughs> answer, there's the selfish answer. Oh, selfish answer! I want the selfish answer. The selfish answer. I mean, I would, I would, I would teleport. You know, I would actually teleport. That's not as selfish. No, it's pure, like you're not teleporting anyone else. Like if it's. Oh no! I would teleport myself. <laughs> yeah, that's selfish. What um, will you do, Tyro? Anything? Probably like. Um. managed to like i don't know if this is like kind of messed up but like persuade people like if i had the power to just like i can change your mind on this do you know what i mean like if you i was a kid and being think, like mom i want this new game you don't think that's messed up put on a ring and be like ah you want to give me the <laughs> ring you want to give me this game you know so you're a little be sold on yeah the great deceiver i mean there's a reason why like you know he's like that everyone ev- like you can't lie everyone would want that power I didn't actually, no, yeah. I actually yeah. didn't. <laughs> but like okay. you could see why he wants it. There's a lot of action in this and yes. we've heard you have done a lot of stunts yourself. Yes. So how long it took for you to prepare? Poof, uh well for for the show itself I mean it depends it depends what what uh, sequence per se but uh the first season I was coming from scratch. I I, I was not um uh, super versed on doing wire work. Uh, so I learned a lot of that from scratch, from season one, and that was months upon months upon months. Like this one sequence that I uh, trained about six, seven months for a fight, a sequence that ended up being about two minutes, three minutes, for example. <laughs> so I, I trained months for for what I do. But it's it's that's the thing. People don't understand that just to hold a sword, is, you, you need to know why you're holding, how you're holding, what style, what 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 lyricism, what story. You know, there's so much that goes into that, and 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 the kind of um, stunts that I'm doing are actually not simple. Um, the there's a my first my entrance into the the season. There's quite a complex uh, stunt that I do that I r- learned recently that not many actors in the world do that level of wire work. So for me, it's a year it's a it's a year round practice. Yeah. I'm consistently training because it's you have to be. ready for those any injuries uh, that's why you train like just so that you avoid that kind of stuff <laughs> the, the, the problem is like like season one, for example I came I came out of the season without any major injuries except like one of the last days I don't know if you know this I was completely fine one of the last day I'm coming out of the of the of the porta potty of the toilets and I slipped coming out <laughs> and that's when I injured myself just coming out of the bathroom That's you know but i haven't injured myself doing anything uh, not at least not in that Great. season yeah. that first major series after a couple of short films and that to such a huge the most <laughs> expensive one yeah. so how is the feeling i'm just so humbled man like i don't know i i'm just like so grateful to be here like it's ridiculous the life i get to live do you know what i mean like i am so so privileged like i travel the world i just play pretend and just have fun for a living like do you know what i mean it's just i can't describe how like just grateful so, i am so you're very fashionable what is fashion for you i mean uh, i i think we're both in the same realm he he he's taking a few notes from me you know no, uh, my, my big uh, fashion inspo for tara mohafidin <laughs> um, if i may say so myself um but he, and i love style i don't know if like the you know, difference between fashion and style for me it's uh self expression so it doesn't have to be about money it has to be about brands i think we're very visual people and the way that we go out we we're trying to tell people consistently find ways of of them understanding who we are and i think that's a that's a way of doing it you know and also there's so many questions that you ask yourself every day you kind of trying to realize um what version of myself am i today and i think style also helps you poetically live right. poetically in that way you know what i mean right. so right. it's fun but it can be also something quite deep yeah um, so it's like if you if you feel like you look good you're going to feel good you know what i mean and like me personally it's like if my cl- if my outfit is great i feel great obviously like other people might not care as much hmm. me personally i care a lot so like if if i look great I feel great. Yeah, so can like, we expect you to do some styling in the coming seasons of Lord of the Rings? Styling as in 
Styling as in styling of the <laughs> of the show? Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. Middle <laughs> absolutely not. I have enough on my plate. But to be fair, to be fair, you know, we worked in the first season with the amazing Kate Hawley. Um, this is the original uh, costume designer, um, and you know the Arundhati's outfit. There was there was she had her her vision, but there was also input that she sought from us, and it was a beautiful collaborative process. So there's a little bit of me in Arundhati okay. as well, for sure. Have you been to India? Yeah, I was. How there. was it? Oh, I loved it so much. It was two years ago. We were in Mumbai on for this show. It was incredible. I mean. It's such a welcoming country. Which Indian food you tried there? Um, I don't remember. Vada pav? I mean, huh? <laughs> you tried vada pav? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Any favorite Indian actor? Listen, I, I mean, I will take the opportunity. I just worked with uh, Priyanka Chopra. Oh, great. I just did a movie with her. She, today itself, she <laughs> came back to India. Yeah, I just saw in the stories, right? Yeah, she just yeah, got yeah. landed in Mumbai. So, lastly, what is the one USP of this season that viewers should watch The Rings of Power? Uh, the one, say that again, the USP? Like what, I, I don't understand that phrase. The unique selling point, the best oh, thing. Oh wow, I just, I just <laughs> learned a thing. USP. The unique selling point of this season of Rings of Power. I would say... Um, yeah, just, just him. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I think, I think... There's something for everyone, man. I okay. think it's gonna be you're gonna be stuck to your seat. There's there's action, there's uh, grit, there's drama, there's so much heart in it as well. I think it's a very unique show. It's so full that I feel like every every character can have its own spin-off. Yeah. What will yeah. you say, Taito? He said it to me. Right? Yeah, I was <laughs> there, man. Just, just watch it for him. I would like, damn. Do you know what I mean? Um, no, I mean it's, it's, it's. This is, this is an expansion, and and this is um, an adaptation of of some of the best work ever. Like, do you know what I mean? Tolkien is, has has such a special mind that that it's absolutely just like confusing how all of this can come from one person's mind. Um, and it's just it's it's exciting to be able to to dive into his work this season, and and we're really getting into the lore of of what he wrote, and that's I think the fans would be super keen for that. So yeah, so looking forward to that for many more seasons. Yes, and thank you so much, and wishing you all the best for all thank the coming you. seasons. Pleasure. Thank you. See you there, for exclusive and insightful videos, subscribe to our new channel, ABP Live Premium.